Greetings, fellow and future hunters. Cynthia Elena here in the slightly spooky woods in the land of hatchlings, where the mansions are haunted and the ghosts roam free. I hope you don't scare too easily and brought your ghost haunting gear. Let's turn on those flashlights and get cracking. If you wish to know more about the game itself and its basic features, please watch my video Hatchlings for Beginners. In this video I want to show you about another Hatchlings travel location, the Haunted House. It's usually open in October and for about a week in May during the Challenge Mania event. Challenge Mania is an event where we travel to different locations in the game and complete challenges to win special prizes. This is a dream event for hardcore hunters. If doing challenges is not your thing, you can always team up with another player who does enjoy them. I have to admit that in general this is not one of my favorite locations. I do have a lot of friends who enjoy it very much, though I do like the spell book. That is one thing I like about Hatchlings. There is such a variety of mini games and events and so many different aspects in the game. There is something for everybody. Here in the haunted house the eggs appear and disappear in jack-o-lanterns and you have to catch them while you can. If you hit H on your keyboard, it toggles most of the in-game display items, which makes it easier to see some eggs that sometimes hide behind them. What I like to do in this location is reduce my window size. Though in this location you can pause and unpause the game, you cannot collect the eggs after you pause it. They will just vanish. To catch the eggs, the game has to be in active play mode. Again, you can either hit the pause button or use the space bar on your keyboard. On the top right, you can see the click meter. As you click on the eggs to collect them, you can tell on the meter how many clicks you have left. Underneath the click meter, you can see the speed meter. You can adjust it to your liking. If the eggs appear and vanish too fast, you can reduce the speed. If they're not replenishing fast enough for you, you can just increase the speed. The cauldron on the bottom is your basket in the haunted house. Click on it at any time to see eggs you have collected. Underneath the speed meter is the spell book with its magic meter. Spell tokens show up among the eggs which you can click on to fill the magic meter. Once the magic meter is full, players who threw in tokens will be swept into the ghost haunt. The yellow ones are the regular tokens, the blue tokens show up for premium members only. If the magic meter isn't filling up fast enough for you, you can pick spells to cast. The premium spell is available once a day to premium members. It is mostly just a participation spell in case no tokens come up in time during a regular hunt. The same with the apprentice spell, it will get you in, but it won't speed up the meter. If you are in a hurry, you can throw in a few master spells or a couple of voodoo rituals. Here we go. This part of the hunt is dark, but you get a flashlight. There's no need to click the eggs. Just follow the ghosts, lock onto them, and the eggs will fall into your cauldron. Some of the ghosts carry stars. You want to collect those if you want to try your luck in the scary go round. Some egg series can only be found in the ghost haunt, and some can only be found in the scary go round. I'm just looking for stars right now.
There's a countdown to the scary go round. On the top right of it, you can see how many stars you have collected. That is how many turns you get on the scary go round. On the bottom is the stop button. The eggs are separated into three rows. You have to click stop for each row to link up the pictures of the egg you want to collect. A little trick for those who are not yet aware of it. For the top row, you want to stop just before the picture of the egg you want appears. For the second row, you want to click two eggs before the one you wish to match with the top row. For the third row, which spins even faster, you want to click three eggs before the one you want to collect. How you can do that is by either remembering which eggs are before, which I usually don't, or by counting. I usually count, so that is the tip I will show you. There are six eggs available to match up, and when there is an Uber in the mix, there will be seven eggs. For me, it always works best if I click sort of right after the egg I counted and before the next one. I will demonstrate with six eggs first, then with seven. When I see the picture of the egg in the top row, I start counting the egg right after it. So for the top row, I count one, two, three, four, five, and as I already think six, I click stop. For the second row, I count one, two, three, four, and click stop as I finish seeing four. For the third row, I count. When there is an Uber in the mix, I start counting again from the egg right after the one I want. For the top row, I count one, two, three, four, five, six. The second row, I count third row, I count one, two, three, four. When you do match up all the pictures to get the egg, click on claim and your next spin will start. If you don't line up the pictures to get the egg, you can always retry once for 100 shells. During the whole month of October, we are able to go to our friends basket profiles and trick or treat. There is usually a new series that is only available for trick or treat. Added to that are a bunch of eggs from previous event series. 
This also gives us a chance to go and look at other players' patches and click like on them. Since I am not a fan of Halloween, but I am a huge fan of autumn, I, well, I raked some leaves. All right, that's enough egg salad for now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more Hatchlings videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you are a Hatchlings addict already, let me know in the comments what you enjoy about the game. If you wish to become one, the link to the game is in the description of this video along with the link to the fan page. Thank you for watching!